Hello, welcome to the channel Autumn's Boutique. I am Autumn and this is going to be just a little book errand video. <laughs> so I have a couple errands to run that are book related and I just wanna put them in a video. I feel like it'd be fun. It'd be, yeah. So I'm gonna go to the library. I have two books that I wanna return. And then also inside the library, attached to the library is a um, like secondhand bookstore that I want to check out. I also have a few books to note donate there. I also want to run to the two little free libraries that are in my area and I'm gonna donate a couple books to that and hopefully take some books. And then I also might potentially run to my favorite bookstore, a uh, novel potentially. We'll see. And if I do end up going to novel there is another secondhand bookstore that I want to go to that is over there so uh yeah we'll see we're uh but yeah i'm gonna take you along with me it's gonna be fun yeah let's get to it such a weird angle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello, I am sitting in front of my library and I'm going to do a quick little update. I'm in my parked car and it's off and it's like 90 degrees outside today in Tennessee. So I'm sweating. Um, so we're going to make this quick. So at the first little free library, I picked up um, Among the Imposters by Margaret Peterson Haddix, which I honestly dedicate my love for reading to this woman because I read so many of her books in like elementary and middle school and honestly that's probably what got like what got me in love with reading and Among the Hidden which is the first book in the series was one of my favorite books. I reread it like I think three times. Um, the first time was in elementary school and then two times for in middle school for like reading projects. I literally love that book. I've been meaning to do a reread of this series because this is probably one of my favorite series from my childhood. So I found this and I picked it up because I was like, yes, absolutely. And I put my copy of Dog's Way Home, I think, by W. Bruce Cameron, is that his name, in there for in as an exchange. Yeah. Um, and then I just went to my library. I'm so sad, but the second like the donation book store uh inside is closed today so i didn't get to go in there but i did pick up uh i did donate two books anyways um and it was the uh summer i turned pretty trilogy by jenny Hahn. i had a bind up of the three books and then gentleman's guide to vice and virtue by Mackenzie lee but um and then i picked up two books i picked up uh honey and issues guide to fake dating by adiba jagadar uh which is her new book i haven't read the henna wars i have not read the henna wars yet but this was there and i was like oh, absolutely um and then i picked up darius the great is not okay by adib Korham, Korham, i think um which i believe both of these are queer and like lgbtq plus um, and I'm going to be reading, I'm going to try and read these both tomorrow during my 24 hour readathon with Janelle, which by the time this video up is up, it'll be, it'll have been a long time since that happened. So I'll go ahead and link that in the I card. I think it's on this side. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go to the second little free library and then I'm going to head over to book traders and then potentially novel. So yeah. Such a good day already. Okay, bye.
I'm gonna make this update really really quick because I'm sitting in my super hot car and I'm in a kind of crowded parking lot so I don't really want to hog this spot. Um, I went to the second uh, little free library and I got two books um, and then unfortunately the used bookstore I go to was closed today. I'm really sad about that. Um, so I didn't get to go there, but I went to the novel and that trip made up for it. I'm going to go home, sit down and do like a proper haul of everything. Um, just because it is sweltering in my car. So I'll see you in a hot sec. Bye. Hello, I'm back home, uh, from my very fun outing. Um, and I'm going to do a final wrap up right now. So to recap, the first, uh, little free library I went to, I picked up among the Imposters by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Uh, once again, this was a childhood favorite series of mine, so I just wanted to pick it up, have it to have on my shelves, and eventually reread in the coming future, you know, just kind of whenever I have time. Um, so yeah. Then the second place I went to was the library, and that's when I got Honey and Your Shoes Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jagadar, and Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib. Cor Coriam, I think. Um, and then I went to the, um, and then unfortunately the little like donation library or, uh, like used bookstore inside the library was closed. So I didn't get to go there. Then I went to the second little free library and picked up Animal Farm by George Orwell, which my sister hated this book. So she was really like, <laughs> angered to see me have this. Um, and then Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Um, yep. Yeah. And then I went to, or, and then unfortunately the, my favorite secondhand bookstore was closed today. So I didn't get to go there, but I went to Novel to make up for it. And I got a, The Little Prince bookmark, which is one of my favorite, uh, children's stories ever. So I had to pick it up. It was just, I love bookmarks too. You can never have too many. <laughs> um, and then I picked up Felix Ever After by Casey Callender, which is the reason why I went to the bookstore because I knew I wanted this book. Um, and I'm a little upset because it is bent, uh, but this was the only copy they had left and like I, I really wanted it. So I picked it up anyways. <laughs> Um, and then the last book I picked up was Smashed by Jinji Ito, which is a bind up of some of his, uh, like short stories. Um, and I read my first Jinji Ito graphic or manga, what manga V a few months ago, or was it last month, I think. And I absolutely loved it. It was so good. So I definitely want to pick up more of his work. Um, and so yeah, picked up this book. Yeah. Um, and I did not give synopsises for any of these books, so I'll go ahead and link them down below if you want to check them out for yourself, because I literally did not say a single thing of what these books are about, so <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I had such an amazing time going to, like, the bookstore. It always cheers me up. It always puts me in a good mood. Um, hello. Okay, so it has been a couple weeks since the first half of this film, or this video was filmed. Um, and I haven't done anything with it, and instead of just trashing it, I figured why not add to it. Um, so right now I'm gonna go to the library and return the two books I got last week, Honey and A Shoes Guide to Fake Dating and Darius the Great is Not Okay. I finished, I read and finished Darius the Great is Not Okay. Absolutely loved it. Um, I haven't quite found time yet to read Honey and E Shoes Guide to Fake Dating quite yet. Um, but since it's such a brand new release, instead of renewing it, I figured I'd return it in case there was someone that wanted to like read it ASAP. So um, just because I felt bad holding on to such a new release. So I'm going to end up returning those, potentially picking a new book. I don't know. We'll see. And then my sister and I are going to go to Barnes Nobles later. So I might purchase a book there too. I don't know. It's a, We'll see. But yeah, I'm just going to take you along with and yeah, bye for now. Okay. So I didn't end up 
having any b-roll just because Barnes and Nobles was packed and I felt so self-conscious filming in there and then the library super small so I felt super self-conscious filming in there so I'm just gonna do a quick haul and then tack this right at the end of the video I might even um do like a full sit down and just to like kind of like revise and go through everything that I purchased um when I get home but that might not happen anyways so the first thing so I went to the the little um donation bookstore that is attached to the library was open today when I originally did this video it was closed so I didn't get to go there but it was open today and I had such a blast so I got the first thing I saw on the shelves like it literally like was like just pointing at me and so I had to pick it up and it is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. I've literally heard nothing but amazing things about this book and it has like um really cool like uh like multimedia um like inclusions in it so I'm really glad that I picked up this physical copy because it is just overall stunning. It is stunning so I'm super excited about that. Um and then I picked up two uh mass market paperback romances just because that place in the secondhand bookstore are my favorite places to get mass market paperbacks because they're so cheap these were literally 50 cents each i got daring in the duke by sarah mclean which this is book three of the bare knuckle the bare knuckle bastards series um i finished i read and finished or i own and read the book book one which i have no idea what it's called uh, Wicked in the Wallflower. I have not, I don't own the second one, but I think this is something where you can, um, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, you can pick them up out of order and they only like slightly overlap. Like they're all following different sets of characters. So yeah. Um, and then I got J.R. J.R. Ward Envy. It is the Fallen Angels. It's a part of the Fallen Angels series. Although... This might not be the first book. I have no idea. But I have um, one of the uh, Black Dagger Brotherhood books by J.R. Ward. And I, just, I really want to read more J.R. Ward. And then I got a bag of Barnes from Barnes Nobles because I'm so... Uh, uh, yeah. So they had a middle grade table that was all buy one, get one 50% off. And I had to take advantage of that. Um, so I picked up okay so the very first book I picked up was Winterborn Home for Vengeance in Valor by Allie Carter I recently watched a booktuber talk about this book um and I will link that video down below because I cannot remember the channel name right now um but yeah so I picked this one up and then um one of the Barnes Noble's workers there recommended this book to me. It's called A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harris, Harrison. Um, and so basically it's like these three kids that go to a magic school, I think. Um, and they have, they each have an item that has like magical abilities, I guess. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it sounds interesting. Okay. The next book I got is Among the Hidden by Margaret Peters Peterson Haddix, which the first half of this book I got Among the Imposters, which is the second book. This is the first book. And I think I'm going to go back and reread this uh, series just because I'm not even kidding. This was the series that like honestly probably got me into reading. I honestly dedicate Margaret, my like my love for reading as a child to Margaret Peterson Haddix. She had so many amazing books that I absolutely loved. Um, so yep. And then the last, just kidding, not the last book. Then I got The Story Collector by Kristen O'Donnell Tubb. Um, it literally, like, these kids live in, like, around books. I don't, like, I don't know what sounds better. I literally don't know anything else about that. And then the last book I got was Stargazing by Jen Wang. I actually have read this, but I wanted a physical copy just because it's such a stunning story. Um, I think I read this. I read this for one of my classes, my, one of my courses, because it was a children's literacy course. And I had to read this book and it was just absolutely stunning. I loved it so, so, so much. And I love Jen Wang's other um, graphic novel, The Prince and the Dressmaker. 
Um, I absolutely love that. So I knew, I knew I had to like get this physically because it's just such a stunning book. It is so stunning. So yeah, that is the little haul for part two. Um, I think I am gonna head home and do like a, like a all, um, like a sit down brief haul of everything I got in the entirety of this video. Um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, bye for now. Hello, okay, so I was just editing this video and I realized I never filmed a conclusion after the second like update for the second day. So I decided to come in and just kind of like go over every single book that I picked up all together and then just close it off. So this is gonna be really short and sweet. So the very first day of this video, I picked up these books, Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, Among the Imposters by Margaret he Peterson Haddix, and then Smashed by Jinji Ito. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, I will be going ahead and linking all of these videos down below, seeing as I have not given any, like, information as to what these books are actually about. So check that down below if you want to find out what they're actually about. And also these lists are in no particular order. And these are the books I got the second day with Among the Hidden by Margaret Peterson Haddix, Envy by J.R. Ward, Daring the Duke by Sarah McLean, A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison, The Story Collector by Kristen O'Donnell Tubb, uh, Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valley, Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor by Allie Carter. And by the way, the booktuber I was talking about when I first mentioned this is Felissa Renee, and I will leave her specifically the video I watched her talk about this book in, linked down below, but go ahead and check out her channel as well. And then Stargazing by Jen Wang. And then the last book I picked up is Night Film by Marisha Pestel. Actually, technically this was the first book I picked up for day two, but anyways. <laughs> so these are the 13 books that I've got, um, that I have accumulated over the two days that I filmed this video. Granted, they were like a couple weeks apart. Oh, and that doesn't include Honey in Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating or Darius the Great is Not Okay because those were library books that I had gotten within the first day of this video. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much filming it. I literally love going to the bookstores so, so, so much. And like, it just, it really just makes me so happy. So I'm glad I got to do this for a purpose. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe if you want to, I guess. Um, I post videos every Tuesday and Fridays. Um, and yeah, I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.